Procreate has a new update, Procreate 5.3. What's new? And is it worth it to download this new version? Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave the Groot, and I'll show you what's new in Procreate 5.3. To update to Procreate 5.3, you first need to update to iPad OS 16 or higher. Otherwise, you cannot update Procreate 5.3. It's a tradition that Savage Interactive, the producers of Procreate, will release its updates along with the new iPad OS or new features of the new iPad Pro. This time, they integrated the hover function. Basically, it's a feature you can hover over your screen and then already see the brush you have selected. I cannot show you anything of the hover function because I don't have a new iPad Pro. I'm showing you the Procreate 5.3.1 update on an iPad Pro 12.9 inch 5th generation from 2021. Hover. So what is the hover function? With the hover function you can now see a full color preview before beginning your stroke and see how you're going to erase even before hitting the canvas. You can then adjust the size and the opacity while seeing the full color preview. With the new iPad Pro from 2022 you can now hover over your screen and see a full color preview from your brushes, eraser or selection tool before you touch the screen with your Apple Pencil. I'm showing you images that are available on the Procreate site. In order to create a brush cursor preview, Savage Interactive has upgraded the brush cursor. When you select the brush cursor in Actions and then Prefs, you can see the difference. When you start drawing or painting, there's a bit of a lag in the performance of the brush. Especially when you are sketching, you will see a tiny point at the end of your stroke. Hopefully they will change it in a new update, because it's a bit of a nuisance. New Color Drop The one new feature I can show you is the new Color Drop. This is a great upgrade to increase your workflow. Now you can keep dropping in colors without sliding it from the color menu. First drag in a color, then on top of the screen a blue button appears. Continue filling. When you press it you can continue dropping in colors without dragging the colors from the color menu. Just touch the section you want to fill. In the top menu you will see color drop with a blue check mark. This means that continued color drop is active. You can even choose different colors from the color menu and keep dropping in the colors. It acts more like the paint bucket of Photoshop or other graphic apps. When you select another tool, the continued color drop will deactivate. Conclusion Procreate 5.3 is not a big update. If you don't have the new iPad Pro from 2022, I'm not sure if I would like to use the hover function. To me it's as useless as the features like face paint and the 3D paint function. I see that Procreate has a price increase of $4. It's now available on the App Store for $15.99. Luckily you only have to buy Procreate once. All of the updates are for free. Let me know in the comments what you think of the new update and if you have the new iPad Pro. Do you think the hover function is worth it? If you want to learn everything about Procreate, I've made a Procreate video manual. I will leave a link below this video. I will show all the functions from Procreate 4 until Procreate 5.3. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!